Samach, everyone. It's a pleasure to launch this initiative from Mount Scopus, where on every night of Chanukah, a member of our community, a staff member or a student, will be sharing an idea about Chanukah to make our Chag even more festive and more meaningful. What I'd like to share with you tonight is perhaps not the greatest place to start, because I want to evoke the image of one of the most famous menorahs that we know, the menorah that was in the Beit HaMikdash. But the truth is many of us are familiar with that menorah in that it is depicted in the Arch of Titus, which was built by the ancient Romans to commemorate the destruction of the temple in the year 70 CE, the removal of the vessels of the Beit HaMikdash, including the menorah, and the taking of them and the Jewish people in the land into exile that would last for 2000 years of dispersion and persecution and a yearning to return home to the land of Israel. Something in 1948, aside from the creation of the State of Israel, was quite remarkable. Usually no one is allowed to walk through the Arch of Titus. And yet, after the creation of the State, the Chief Rabbi of Rome and the local Jewish community were given a special dispensation to walk through the Arch of Titus, which they did. But they walked backwards to symbolise the reversal of the trajectory of Jewish history up to that point, to symbolise a returning home to symbolise a coming back to this ancestral homeland and as Herzl described it, an alt noi land, this old land that would now become new. And indeed it's fitting that the menorah is now the symbol on the coat of arms of the modern state of Israel. And so in short, Chanukah, one of the main ideas of Chanukah, is the symbolism of not only Jewish survival, but of Jewish triumph. Indeed it is the Chag that shouts out to us, Am Yisrael Chai. And the question is, how is this possible? What is it about the Jews that has allowed us to endure and not only survive, but to thrive throughout the generations? How are we still here? Or to quote Mark Twain, what is the secret of our immortality? I think the answer to this can be found in three key themes that center around Hanukkah. The first is that this might not be practical for many people, but the optimal way of performing the mitzvah of lighting the Hanukkah is to do so outside the front of one's door, where the mezuzah, containing the most uh, important declaration of faith, Shema Yisrael Hashem Lokeinu Hashem Echad, is on one side of the door, and the Chanukiah, symbolizing our traditions, our heritage, and the mitzvot, is on the other. And so when one walks through the door, one is surrounded by mitzvot. And so the first idea of our immortality is that we have always held steadfast to two things, our faith, and our observance and our traditions. Those are the things that have kept us united, they've kept us on track, and they've ensured our spiritual survival. The second idea is about how we're meant to light the Hanukkah candle. The way what we're supposed to do is do the mitzvah, ner ish uveto, that every person in every home is meant to light the Hanukkah. We might think that maybe what we should do is we should all gather together in the shul and there should be one Hanukkah on behalf of all the community. But really, Every single household is responsible for performing the mitzvah on their own. And the idea behind this is very profound. Education starts at home. The values that we have, the sacrifices that we make, the ideals that we live towards and we strive towards are to be found in the home. They're to be found in the relationships between siblings, the relationships between parents and children, the relationships between bubas and zaydas and their grandchildren. Because we've been able to preserve this, we've been able to survive. The third idea is to be found in the Hasidish idea about candles, where we say, Me'at or doche harbe choshech, that even a little bit of light dispels a lot of darkness. And throughout the generations, Jews have always done this. We've always been at the forefront of the people that seek to shine light in dark places, to ensure that there's justice, to be activists in places where we see that the world needs help. Um, it's always an amazing phenomenon that the Jews have this, to quote Einstein, this unbelievable urge to ensure that there will be justice, an almost fanatical desire to ensure justice. And so these ideas of faith and mitzvot, of the family unit, and the desire to shine light in the darkest of places, these are the things that have kept us Jewish for many years, and these are part of the reasons that we celebrate on Hanukkah. Chag Hanukkah Sameach.